well, welcome to our review crew. We're gonna have a little bit of fun here. And Kelly is here with me. It's not a big crowd, but we're gonna have fun and hopefully you're gonna come on live or you're gonna watch the playback tonight. And we're so excited. So here's what you need. You need to have taken your little quiz <clears throat> or just follow along with us. So this is gonna be fun. And then the other thing that I posted was a picture of our um, current line, it's upside down, and the lighting, I don't know, it's really not great, but um, we're, I want you to be able to use this to just tell me what you love, because I really do want your opinion to know um, what I should be showing at my shows. So I have like 10 shows here in January, and I wanna know what everybody loves the most so that I can show those. So pull that out, or just grab a little piece of paper. No. So you got your quiz, because we're gonna talk about trends, and post and comment and tell me what you love. So if I show you something that you love and you love it, love it, love it, post so I know and then I'll be excited to show it to other people, okay? All right, so we've got our little quiz. We're gonna talk about our trends. The first question says, what trend is typically saved for evening that is now for daytime? Fur, floor length gowns, sequins, or stiletto heels? Kelly, do you know? Do you remember? I believe it was sequins. That's right, sequins. Okay, so I kind of clued you into that earlier today if you watched my little um, preview. So what I'm wearing is actually a fun little sweater. I just got this off of White House Black Market on their clearance section. So don't leave me to go shop White House Black Market, but it's actually gold. They have a, a fluffier kind of silver one, but this has little tiny sequins all through it. So it's a little sparkly. I don't know if you can see it with the light. So it's like little sparkly and fun. So that's a great way to bring that trend into your wardrobe. You could also maybe add, um, I have tank tops that have sequins on it, but also back here I have this jacket that's in pink. I don't know if you can see that, and that has sequins all through it. Now she is wearing one of our new necklaces that's so fun, I have to think about what it is called, Well Spent. And Well Spent is something we're gonna talk about in just a minute. It also covers another trend, that particular necklace, but that jacket, really cute, has sequins on it, super fun. Um, one quick tip about what I'm doing and that jacket. That jacket's actually three-quarter length sleeves. This one is, um, I rolled them up because three-quarter length sleeves, very important in helping you to look your best and looking thinner. That's a fun little tip that we need to remember. Now, what I'm wearing is actually called Eclipse. Okay, do you love this? Show me some hearts if you love it. Um, I love Eclipse, it's so cute, and it's adjustable, so it can actually be short, worn short, but I like it down here, sort of on top of my top, so cute. And it's got matching little earrings, but I actually have on these fun earrings. These ones are called, boy, I'm forgetting everything. Oh, Fan Club, okay? Oh, I got some hearts on that. We like Fan Club. It's fun, you like these? They're so but good. you don't like gold. But, I don't like gold, but oh, I like Oh, I love these. Okay, so fun. Okay, and then I'm also wearing this bracelet called More Grace, and it actually has engraving on it, and then it has a cute little stone on that side. And one thing that's really cool, Premier just surprised us on Saturday with a whole new line when we were at our rally that none of us knew was coming, and it's engravables. So now we have these bracelets. So on this paper that I put on the um, Facebook event, I just kind of put some of the pictures of the charms and the, the bar necklaces. It's very similar to um, our Believe necklace that we have. And I ordered a bunch of it, so I'll have it, hopefully for all of my shows in January, if, they, if it arrives for my show um, set on Saturday, but so fun. The engraving is included in the price. So when you're looking at the price, the engraving's free, and you have to do the engraving at the time that you order it. So if you're interested in getting a piece, maybe with your 50% discount um, today, I can help walk you through engraving it. Super fun and easy. Okay, and then this particular bracelet, it's called Buzzworthy that I'm wearing. Okay, isn't that fun? It's stretchy and it's gold, except that it has a surprise because it's reversible. Okay, check this out. I know you're just dying because you're not a big gold <laughs> fan. It's all gold. But this has turquoise in it. So this is a really fun splash of color. So fun. And this ring I'm wearing is Curve Appeal, although it's not a new ring. But that's actually rose gold and silver, but I wear it all the time because I love it. But I love um, Buzzworthy. Okay, so cute. And then, of course, I have on the gold crown watch, which is so cool. Fun. 
Love it. Okay, so let's go to the second question. Oh, wait, I have to tell you. Sequins, right? So you can add that into your clothes, but you know we have an actual necklace called sequins, and this was in our holiday line. And so this you would love because you love the hematite. Do you I, have this? I'm upset. I'm not yet. Okay, so this one is called sequins, and I say it's a stress reliever because it just feels so good in your hands. It feels good. But see, it's a whole bunch of little sequins. I don't know if you can see that. Just like the kind of stuff that's in my jacket and my sweater. And so cute. And this you can wear long, okay, and everybody needs a black necklace. You can tie it in a quick little knot. You can double it. Okay, super easy, right? So, so cute. Just a great black necklace that you always need, okay? But here's a fun little tip that's so cute. If you have a clip it, okay, you're just gonna take this, you're gonna go crisscross applesauce with a long necklace like this, bring it back, clip it with a clip it, and now it's a joker, okay? Isn't that so cute? So, so many choices. So this is a great way to be on trend by getting, don't wear it all at the same time because you get tangled, but wearing sequins, okay? So fun. Okay, so let's do the second question. It says, what design will be seen on dresses? Chevron, comic inspired faces, paisley or fruit? So if anybody wants to vote in the comments, that would be fun too, just to participate and let us know what you think. What did you put down, Kelly? You know the answer, because she came and heard this quiz at on Saturday. I would prefer it to be Paisley. Yes. But. Comic inspired faces. Comic inspired faces, which I cannot I have. know, I know. But you know, one thing, um, we don't always have to follow the trends. So that's the big thing that I want to talk to you about today is that, yes, we're going to talk about some funny trends. Um, one trend that I took off for tonight's um, little quiz is that plastic is actually a really hot trend, like literally see-through. And my girls told me that there are plastic jeans and um, uh, thong jeans. And all those jeans are, are the outline of the jean. And then plastic. Like, Ew. it's crazy. Okay. Ew. So, you don't have to, don't follow that trend. That's crazy. But what is really coming back are the big see-through umbrellas, the see-through rain jackets, that kind of thing. But again, we don't have to follow every trend. So don't run out and get a comic face covered dress. That, I mean, unless you absolutely love that. But um, that's not one that we have to run out and get. Now, one of that we didn't say was Paisley's, but Paisley's are still in. Look at this gorgeous top. And this looks fabulous with our pearlicious necklace, which has sort of a matte antique gold base with they're all these little individual pearls. But this has the bell sleeves, which is very on trend, and we're gonna, it's sheer. So even though we have that plastic trend, right? We don't have to follow the plastic trend, but we can replace it with the sheer trend, okay? So things that are see-through-y and sheer. And we love that we're breaking up this print, okay, so prints are still in, with this fun statement necklace. And it is reversible, and it is adjustable with the double lobster class. So we're just filling that space in. And remember the thing that I love to teach you guys at the show, which is another optical illusion, is the V-neck. And although every one of our shirts does not have a plunging neckline to draw our eye down into that hourglass figure, we can do it with our necklaces. And so Pearlicious is a great way to do that. It's filling that space and creating that V-neck, even when you have a high collar. And it's a really great way to break up a print. Okay, so we really want to put something kind of bold and fun on this print. So Pearlicious, so tell me if you love it. And another one, this, this one, this is another sheer top, okay? And she's kind of double, we've got two layers on this sheer, which is always very important if you're wearing sheer to wear a tank top, okay? And then what I did was I paired, this has the flowers, okay? Well, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Um, but I put in the navy, which is new. And in the navy, really adds that fun, bold color. It's breaking it up, gives that V-neck. It's got that shiny gold, but it has another strand. So it is actually even bolder. It's a fun, fun necklace. And Stars and Stripes, a very patriotic theme, um, is really in for trends this year in 2018 in the spring. So this is a great necklace to bring in, maybe wear with some white, wear with some red. So fun, 
Okay, so we love these flowers. It also has bell sleeves on those again, which are still in style. Okay. Oh, I got a heart. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Number three, what print will be seen this spring again, but bigger and bolder than before? Snake, leopards, pineapples, or florals? What do you think, Kelly? Florals, exactly. So, florals, again, it's kind of sticking with that comic theme. Um, really big, overstated flowers. So, but hey, if you've got florals, recycle them. I've got florals from last year. I'm going to pull this back out. I'm going to still look fabulous. And we, but what we can do is we can utilize our jewelry to bring that big floral print out. So again, with the well-stated, well-spent, well-spent well necklace, this is rose gold. It's almost more like a copper metal. Um, and it has the double lobster clasp, so we can adjust the length. But this necklace is a really beautiful statement necklace. Looks great with the pink, with the sequins, right? So fun. This is going to be beautiful. And a lot of times we think statement necklaces are just for dressy. They're not. I've got jeans on her, okay? So she's wearing jeans, maybe a cute little flat. She's still wearing a sparkly jacket. You could put heels with your jeans. You could put flats with your jeans. You could put boots with your jeans. But wear your dressy necklaces no matter what, even to the grocery store, okay? So fun. All right, so next one is, what is the number one Pantone spring color trend? Fluorescent yellow, lavender, chartreuse, or mint green? What do you think? It's lavender. Lavender, good, right. So, I'm being pastels. I know, remember pastels, too, remember right? that. So pastels are really hot this summer. Uh, or this spring, and lavender is the color of choice. So if you've got some pale purple in your wardrobe, you are on trend. And of course, you know, Premier has the lavender necklace, which was from actually our holiday line, and it's probably hard to tell, but this is purple, okay? And so I love this lavender necklace because these beads are removable, and then you have your basic silver long chain, and you can wear that long or short. Now notice, I'm putting this with an alternate color. One thing I like to point out is that when we have color jewelry like our blue in the navy or lavender, um, you know, you don't have to wear it with lavender. Um, you don't have to wear it with the same color. This can be your pop of color. It's just in that tone, that family tone, and it looks beautiful. A lot of times it's bet you're better off picking an alternate color than the exact color that you're wearing. So this one is a lavender jacket, okay, and we paired this with Rocco. And Rocco has these adorable earrings. Again, they're based in gold, and they sort of have like a real deep gray stone that's swirly. And it's this beautiful two, actually three-tiered necklace, okay, so cute. Really great tones. And again, I didn't put the lavender necklace with the lavender jacket. I pulled another little color so we could do sort of a gray pant. So cute. Okay, so Rocco. So remember, what I'm asking you guys to do too is give me your opinion on your favorite pieces. So putting them in order. So, oh, did I skip number four? I, oh, I did skip number four. Sorry. That's what my lovely assistant is here for. <laughs> number four is who? Boy, I really messed this up. <laughs> <laughs> Who could be this season's fashion icon? Rachel from Friends, Big Bird, Napoleon Dynamite, or Betty Boop? This is just frightening. I know, this is frightening. Big Bird. Big Bird, okay, because, and I alluded to this earlier today when I went live, feathers are a trend, okay? Now, I am not going to stand here and tell you to wear a feather boa or to wear feather earrings um, that would be crazy. So again, some of these trends are really cutting edge, right? You know, they're really not for the average American mom in Pittsburgh. But we can mimic it like with our fan club earrings, okay? So, so it gives that like kind of a flowy, kind of feathery kind of feel. And anything that has tassels. So we have the alley necklace with a little bit of um, blues and purples, maroons. So cute with the tassels. And um, this little number, which is so fun with all the color and all the tassels and all the flowiness. I forget what this is called, but so cute, okay? So we can definitely do that with tassels. 
So that was four, we just did five, and I should really, really proofread my stuff before I put it out there. <laughs> what wash of denim is going to be the biggest wash? So is it white, distressed, green, or dark? Do you remember? The dark, the we talked about this. Yes, dark. And coming off. Yeah. And actually, okay, so first of all, let me say, white denim, still awesome. I wear my white denim all winter, move it into spring. Love skinny white, skinny jeans, not going anywhere. We still love our skinny jeans. And distressed, still very, very hot. Like I said, they're so distressed that now there's hardly they're anything left. Apart. They're just, <laughs> yeah, they're falling apart. We went into American Eagle and my, my girls were like, oh my gosh, they're distressed in the back. They're distressed in the front. How do you even put them on? You know, because... Well, what are you paying for? Air? I know, <laughs> really. So my daughter had a pair of jeans and she wanted them to be distressed. And she just took some scissors and distressed them. <laughs> rip, rip. Pretty much. Pretty funny. Okay, so distressed are still great. Skinny jeans, awesome. And I just wanted to take a minute and talk about jeans. So dark denim is... That, that's a gift to us because dark denim makes us look skinnier. So we love dark denim. One of the things about, and it can't be too dark, one of the things about dark denim is that no matter how many times you wash them, it still comes off on your hands. But I got a really good tip. I haven't done this yet, but a friend of mine has done this and she told me, you take a quarter teaspoon of salt and you put it in the wash with just your dark denim. Have you done this? Have you heard it? Do the salt and white vinegar. Oh really? White vinegar? Mm -hmm. She did not tell me white vinegar, so we'll have to Google that and find out. Um, but it sets the ink, sets the ink, so you only ever have to do it once, and you want to do it just with the dark denim. So um, I do know to only wash my dark denim with my dark denim, but... Um, I think if you hang them to dry... I always hang, always hang my jeans to dry. I do not need my jeans to shrink. No. No thank you. <laughs> Oh, I always, and all of my kids, we all hang our jeans to dry so that they do not shrink. But a couple thing about, things about the cut of jeans. Um, I think the wide, the wide straight leg, like the wider straight leg is not a very flattering cut. That doesn't help anybody. No, it doesn't help anybody. So steer clear of those. If you've got those, fold those up. Now, a boot cut is awesome. I love a boot cut, but it's going to be a skinny boot cut, which means... Let's see, this one, this one is a skinny boot cut. And it's hard to see because she's so skinny, but it goes in a little bit at the knee and then it just flares out so slightly. If it flares way out, then those are really from, whoopsies, those are really from a couple years ago and we don't want a super wide flare. If you've got a straight leg, and I do have some, they're skinny straight legs, so they just kind of, they're like real skinny, they go down, they're not a wide cut. And one thing to remember about your jeans is that they should be an inch off of the floor. So you might actually have a pair of jeans that you wear with your flats and a different pair of jeans that you wear with your heels. And that's important because um, you, you don't want to be dragging your jeans when you're wearing your flats and you also don't want them to be too short when you're wearing your heels. And the cool thing about accessories, whether it's jewelry, your, the particular jacket that you pick or the shoes that you select, that's going to totally change whether what you're wearing is a little dressier or a little more casual. So really important. So with jeans, a dark wash, still in, distressed, you're still good, white, you're still good. Um, watch the cut. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk to you about was the capri cut, okay? Because we're moving into spring. And actually right now, I wish I could show you. Let me see if I can angle the camera down. Okay, I'm gonna dip it down and show you my feet. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know if we can do it. Can you see my feet? <laughs> I don't know if you can see my feet. I have on, um, here, can you do it? Show them my shoes. See how I have the, my jeans rolled up and I have little booties on, okay? So see how you can see my ankles and you cannot see my socks, okay? So actually you can wear little socklets or no socks at all, but that's really important how you roll them up. When you're wearing boots you don't want your pants to be over your your little boot you want to show it off and so it's important like when it hits 10 below i'm not going to wear this it'd be too cold but right now 60 degrees man it's perfect right and so i just these are actually my spring um capri pants and i just rolled up the bottom and i put on my little booties okay so thank you bam and then when i'm wearing my my boots like i have furry boots and stuff 
I wear or my high heel boots that are three quarters come to my calf. I just wear um, skinny jeans. Now, there's a couple different kinds of skinny jeans. You have just plain skinny jeans, and sometimes they kind of bunch up at the knee. And then you have um, the leggings that look like jeans, and those are going to be really form fitting. Just make sure you cover your booty up, right? <laughs> and you know, another thing is um, like this jack, this this uh, jacket. I wore this jacket um, on Saturday, and I didn't wear this top. I wore the one I'm wearing, and the one I'm wearing is nice and long, and it does actually cover my butt. Okay, and so my jacket was higher than my shirt, and that was okay because it looked cute. You know, it just kind of flowed all together, and and it worked because it was wearing. I was wearing the same color pant. I was wearing a cream pant and a cream top, and kind of all blended together. And then my jacket. Um, cut my cut me off right at my at my um, hips, which was pretty cool. Okay, so let's see what the next one is. The next one says, if you wear this trend, you will look like you are going where? College, a dance rave, to work as a mechanic, or the gym? You got harassed. I got time. big time <laughs> harassed on this. I know. What's the answer? Uh, the gym. The gym. Okay, because I am known for the fact that I do not work out. However. We did recently buy a treadmill, and I have been on it, and I am really trying to be better uh, at staying healthier because I did need to lose a little bit of weight. So, I but uh, I know I'm horrible about working out, but it's all about being healthy. So my friends were saying that I was a poser because these are all my clothes and I had workout gear, but that's the whole point of um, athleisure, okay? So the whole point is that you're wearing cute clothes and you go to the store, you're in Target, and people think you just came from working out, but you didn't. You're just comfortable, you're just wearing your stretch pants, okay? So it's great, but this is a new hot trend. It's everywhere, it's all over Target, right? So you can just get a fun little jack out, jacket, workout jacket, and of course our comfy pants, which are so fabulous because they fit no matter what, and then some cute little tennis shoes, right? Maybe some slip-on tennis shoes, that's what I love. So how do we accessorize this, especially graphic tees, because these are really hot. These are not going anywhere. Everybody loves graphic tees. It's a fun way to kind of advertise a fun message, and it just looks cool and chic. So what do you want to do? You want some simple jewelry. So this one's called Next Level. Um, another cute little necklace that I love to wear is called Besties. And these are just little, tiny, two little necklaces that come together that are gonna be right here. So those are so cute. And then I put, from the spring line, the Gigi earrings. Ugh, the lighting. There we go, right there. Can you see these? And these are post earrings, which I think are so fabulous. So cute, and they pop down. I love all these big, long earrings. These earrings are so fabulous. So that's at leisure. You can be all comfortable and on trend. So much better than comic faces on our shirts, right? These yes. comfortable, oh um, this is so much better, right? Okay, so we've got number eight. What item in an elementary classroom represents a spring color trend? Green chalkboard, brown bear, brown bear, Crayola box, or the pet goldfish? Do you remember? That was a Crayola box. That's right, the Crayola box. So what I think is really cool about spring 2018 Fashion trends is color. So they're saying pastel colors are really hot, but so are bright Crayola colors, okay? So here we go. Here's a bright version of purple with the bell sleeves again and just this fun, vibrant color. And this would be so great with white jeans, dark jeans, cream slacks, a skirt. You can go so many different ways with this. And this has this gorgeous gold necklace. I don't know if you can see the diamonds on this. Oh, we're getting lots of hearts. Okay, so this is so cute. These are two little bars. And if you have a millennial out there, they love this. I mean, everybody loves it. I'm 47 and I love it, okay? Everybody loves it. This one is called <laughs> Touch of Glam. Touch of Glam. Okay, and it just looks glamorous and fun and so cute. And we love that on that, vi that bright, vibrant color. Now, if bright, vibrant colors aren't your thing, like maybe yellow, okay? I cannot wear yellow. Yellow cannot go anywhere near me. Mm -hmm. um, but I can wear it as a pant, okay? So I gotta show you this, because this is so fun. Plus, this is just a really fun deal that I got. 
Hey, I saw my niece posted a really cute picture on Instagram two weeks ago um, about some shoes that she got at Target. Are these so cute? These blue shoes, so I had to run out and get them. Actually, I got online and I bought them. And they came, I got them in black too. So they're right at Target, $15, okay? Isn't that awesome? And then I was shopping at Macy's, just burning some time. And in the clearance department, I was like, oh my gosh, that matches my shoes, exactly. So 15 bucks, I got this shirt, isn't that great? Now, this is crushed velvet and we're talking spring. And I put it with bright yellow pants, which I think is so fun. Doesn't look really great on this poor skinny mannequin, but these are three, these are ankle pants. So they're gonna show off my ankle, which I love because I'm five foot four, so I never have to hem the ankle pants. So I think they're fabulous. So I have a bajillion of them. Um, but I love that bright yellow color with the blue. So fun. And some might say, well, you know, isn't crushed velvet really more of a winter tone? Yes, it is a winter material, but we can really wear it like today would have been a perfect day to wear it right because it's 60 degrees but it's still winter but i can push this you know into march and even maybe the beginning of april because it's just such a pretty blue color especially pairing it with that bright yellow pant now what i put with it is one of the only silver necklaces we only got two silver necklaces in our new um spring line i know poor kelly she's sad because she loves silver um but this is called um lake what's it called Lake, 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 spring lake. Silver Lake. Silver Lake. Silver Lake. Okay. Silver Lake, this, um, I think all three of these strands are removable, I believe. Yes, they are. All three are removable. And it's a real pretty color, very similar to this top. It's a little bit, a little bit more heather blue and this silver on the back. Okay. So it's long, medium, and short. Okay. There's a short strand right here. If you can see, super cute, love that, silver, so sweet. And one thing I love to do is connect my color with my shoes. So um, I love doing that, it's one of my favorite things, so I'm always on the hunt for cute shoes that are colorful. I think a cute flat can really make your whole look, and you might connect it to the color of your necklace. So say you were wearing in the navy, right? And you had some cute navy blue flats. Well, that could pull your whole outfit together. So you would want to wear that maybe with no other blue. Maybe you're wearing a cream top and yellow pants, and then you have a cute navy blue flat pulling with your in the navy necklace, and it pulls the whole thing together. Maybe your purse, you grab a little clutch that's navy blue. That's your little pop of color along with your necklace. It's so fun to pull those colors together. Um, I, I love wearing colorful pants. So another fun Crayola color. I put these fun pants, same same type of pant. It's all from White House Black Market because that's where I shop. But um, this is a fun, bold, sort of a mango orange. And why I love it with this is I pulled, this is the Fiesta necklace. And this is a gold based necklace and it has three different colors. This one's sort of a light pale teal, a, a really pale mango, and then a fun little green. Now I pulled that to connect the color of the pant with the necklace. And then wear a cute little flat or a cute little heel. And then this is all reversible to solid gold. But you can wear one, two, or three, or any one of these. And this is really fun. To make this a short necklace, you just take off one of the strands, come down and, and hook on the other one, and then it's short. So that one's called Fiesta, so we love versatility. But that necklace made the whole outfit. See how plain and dreary, right? Just a plain white top. But then your necklace is gonna totally make that outfit. And you know, this is a nice cream color bell sleeve top. This is a great, easy piece to have in your wardrobe. So when you are shopping, I love that this season solid colors are really hot because you can do so much mixing and matching and build your outfit based on your jewelry when you have solid colors, right? It makes it so much easier. So I love having a basic cream because you can totally change your look. You know, you could take this and just swap out in the navy, right? Maybe put on some navy pants or some navy shoes and it's all about... That actually doesn't look, and that look Yeah, it's fun, huh? With the two opposing colors. Just some fun splashes of color 
really, really fun. So this jewelry can really totally change your look. You know, you could bring over the well spent, having that basic solid color as your foundation, and then it becomes all about the necklace. Oh, and so when we, did we talk about, maybe I took it out that flower, you know, I said that about the flowers. Our necklaces can be the great way to bring that flower trend into our wardrobe. So getting well spent is this nice big flower. Another one is lavish. So we could do lavish and just put that on. And, you know, don't be afraid that it's dressy. I wear this with a jean jacket and it brings in that. This is actually the shape of the flower that's really hot right now for the spring trends, okay? So lavish, so we love that. So bringing in those flowers. Okay, so what did we not talk about? We didn't talk about this guy. This is called Galaxy, okay? And I really need to lower my... <laughs> I keep having to lift this up. But this is so cool because, now you're not a big fan of gold, Kelly, but this is gray, right, with just a little bit of gold. So this is a gray beading and then gold beading. So this is just a beautiful, and again, it just makes the whole outfit, draws the eye down. This is also another piece of sheer clothing. So this is lightweight sweater that you can almost see through, and it's just, that's totally on trend, and it's a nice long color. And remember, roll up your sleeves so that you look taller and skinnier. Right? So we love that. And let's see what else did we not talk about. Another pastel, pinks, okay? And mixing your pastels are great. This is one of my favorite necklaces. What is this one called? This one? Soft Touch. Soft Touch. I have such a wonderful assistant. You should be a jewelry lady, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so Soft Touch, this is rose gold. Oh, let me show you the to dye earrings to go with this. This is what I wore. And these are called what? These. The ravishing is the ring. Cecilia. Cecilia. Okay. Oh, and I don't even know what I did with the ring. But we've got the fun uh, ravishing ring that's in rose gold. And then we have these. Now, what I love is the movement. Do you see that? And they just hang down, and they're rose gold. They are so pretty. And they're not flat. Like, there's just such three dimension to them. They're fabulous, so we love that. And then if you remember our, um, oh, what's it called? The necklace that I wore with it, blush, okay? Blush is in rose gold and you get the three tiers. So I wore the, wore the top two tiers and filled that space. And of course we can double this and make it short, but it's so pretty, so pretty. And then we got this really cool necklace. This one is called Durango. And Durango is really kind of muted colors. So we've got lots of taupey colors, real muted, fun shades. And then it has the second strand that's brown leather and has these cute little silver things hanging. So here's another silver one. And actually these earrings, the Durango earrings and the Durango bracelet, I have worn these already. These are a great everyday earring because they just hang just like that. So they're not too terribly big. They're really, really lightweight, and they're a fun matte silver. And then we have this fun bracelet, and it is adjustable, so it's going to fit everybody. So cute. So I love Durango. A lot of versatility there. Really cute. Okay, so what else did we not talk about? Oh, these are fabulous. My daughter... We already gave this away to one of my um, my older daughters, I good friends. Do you love this? Do you love this? Yes. And with your selling the oils, you could put your oils on the leather, that right? Plan. That's what's her plan. She sells the oils. Um, this has scripture all the way embedded on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's really hard. But it's not glittery. It's not, a, you know, it's just real. See right there? See how it's in there? And then it just wraps around, and then it has the scripture reference, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you a hope and a future. So that is a great thing. So anyway, we already gave this as a birthday present to my 16-year-old friend, okay, she loved it, and my 13-year-old, uh, because <laughs> she's like, oh my gosh, you have to order that for me. I need that. She knew immediately when she saw it in the book. She was like, I have to have that. So, so fun. We love this. Easy to wear. And then these earrings... Oh my gosh. Okay, I, we actually put these with this outfit, not this necklace. 
And what we did was, okay, I have pants, this color, this blue color, and we took, this one is called something level. What is this called? Upper um, level. Upper level. Okay, this is a really delicate little gold necklace similar to our upper level. This tiny necklace comes off and can be worn alone and the two can be worn by themselves. And so cute. And then these really fabulous earrings, which everyone's going crazy for. So it's all about the earrings with the brown and the little bit of blue. People love these. What are these ones called? Something. Laurel, Laurel Canyon. Canyon. Laurel Canyon. Okay. So those are so cute. That's a great I know. Laurel Canyon. And then we have three more pairs of earrings. We got some big old hoops. Okay. And we got these. So fun. These are called Stella. And then people are dying for these. These are gorgeous. I forget what they're called. What Sheer perfection. Sheer perfection. Sheer perfection. They're awesome. Okay. We love it. I think we showed you everything. I think I left the ring over on the other side. But so many fun pieces of jewelry. Okay. We love it. So here's what I really, really would love to know. I really want to know what you love the most. So just give me some of your top picks. Like post, I love this, this, and that. And or message me if you don't want to post or put it in another post. But I seriously want to know. You're my review crew. Did you find me the ring? Yeah. She's such a great assistant. Thank you. So this is the ravishing ring. So cute. It's rose gold. Love that. I love how simple it is. Okay, it's just so fun. We love it. Um, I want to know what you absolutely love. And for watching today and telling me your opinion in the review crew, I'm giving you a special secret deal. And if you're my best customers. And I want you to be showing off this product and telling everybody about it and loving it. So that's why I'm giving you a special secret deal. Okay, so that's super fun. Um, okay, so thanks for joining me um, to, to see all about our spring trends. I hope you learned some things. Ooh, Teresa already posted that she loves the glam necklace. Love it. Um, so that's so great. Okay, girls, I so appreciate you guys taking a little bit of time. And go online. You just go to shopwithjuliedavid.com so that you can kind of make it bigger and see. And hopefully I'll be seeing you this month. Um, at a jewelry show and hey if not you should really have your own show and if you're considering it message me because I have a special secret surprise for you in my head that I will share with you if you decide that you would like to have a show in t um, the next few months with me so just message me text me and let me know but I would love to do a show with you again I'm trying to do 10 events a month so I need help from all of my friends so, all right, girls, I hope you learned some fun things. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to hear from you soon, and I'll put that link up for the review crew, okay? Mwah.